What's going on? We're back again. Happy Monday and welcome back to the first episode of year number two of Mr. Eric Reads. And as always, got my man here. Say hello. Hey. Mr. Barrett's here as well. And Mr. Barrett has a book for us that he picked out at his media center and it's called Scrooby Doo. Shall be timbers. Yikes. So, this book is by Sonia Sander, and it's Scooby-Doo, Shiver Me Timbers, here on Mr. Eric. And Mr. Eric Reads. Wink. We did that at the same time. Good job. The gang was on their way back to Coolsville. Like, are we there yet? Asked Shaggy. Hmm, if this weather doesn't get worse, we'll be home in an hour, said Fred. Just then, the mystery machine sputtered to a stop. Jinkies, said Velma. That didn't sound good. Hmm, engine trouble, Fred said as he checked under the hood. Japers, said Daphne as the rain poured down harder. Well, let's get out of the rain and find some help. There was an old fort along the road. The gang climbed the hill to the front door. Um, like, it doesn't look like anybody's home said Shaggy. Suddenly, the door swung open, revealing a mummy and a ghoul. Zoinks! cried Shaggy. This place just keeps getting creepier. Shaggy and Scooby tried to run, but the monsters were only actors. Oh, so sorry we scared you. Said, Ju said the owner, Julian. Ava and I uh, just finished up our show. Julian invited the gang inside. What is this place? Asked Fred. Well, it's an old pirate fort, said Julian. We use it for our haunted pirate show. And lately, said Ava, real pirate ghosts have been scaring away our audience. They've even scared away most of my actors, Julian said. Maya and Marcus are the only ones who've stayed. The gang offered to help with the show and solve the mystery. Ava and Maya found the gang some costumes. Like, ahoy matey, said Shaggy. Roaring, said Scooby. And that night, the gang took their places on the stage. Beware the pirate curse if you steal our treasure, said Fred. Julian and Ava jumped out and scared the crowd. All of a sudden, a thick cloud of smoke filled the fort. I vast ye who dare to trespass, dead men tell no tales, said a creepy pirate ghost. The audience fled as fast as they could. Then the lights went out and the ghost let out a chilling laugh. <laughs> Passers beware, the ghost howled as they chased after the gang. Like, we should have left when we had the chance, cried Shaggy. Quick, hide in here, said Velma, pointing to a nearby door. The gang quickly hid in the supply room. It looks like we lost the ghost, said Fred. With the coast clear, the gang took a look around. Shaggy and Scooby started to play with swords. Scooby got his sword stuck in the wall, and when he pulled the sword out, he opened a hidden door. Behind the door was a secret tunnel. Hmm, let's take a look, said Fred. Um, like, maybe that door was hidden for a reason, said Shaggy. There's nothing down here but dust and spiders, said Velma. Riders, said Scooby. Yikes! Jeepers, said Daphne. Look at this shiny gold coin. Hmm, it must be a fake coin from the show, said Fred. Hmm, I don't know. It looks pretty real to me, said Velma. 
we can ask Julian about it. First, let's see what's at the end of that tunnel, said Fred. Oh, I was afraid he was going to say that, said Shaggy. The only thing at the end of the tunnel was the outside. But Fred saw a flashing light. It looks like a signal is being sent from that tower, he said. The gang quickly headed back down the tunnel to the fort. At the door, they spotted a dark figure in a pirate hat stuffing his cannon full of pieces of paper. The pirate looks awfully suspicious, said Velma. I wonder what he's up to, asked Daphne. After the mysterious pirate left, the gang took a closer look. Like, it's just a map of the fort, said Shaggy. But it's not just any map, said Velma. It looks like someone is searching for something. At dinner, Fred showed the gold coin to Julian. Where do you think it came from? Asked Fred. <clears throat> um, well, <clears throat> there's a legend that says that the group of pirates robbed a ship and hid the coins in this fort, explained Julian. And if anyone tries to claim the coins, they will be cursed forever. Later, the gang went up to the tower to look for clues. Look, said Fred. The ghost left behind its flashlight. Hmm, I wonder who they're sending messages to, said Velma. Like, what if whoever they were signaling is watching us? Asked Shaggy. Suddenly, the pirate ghost burst onto the tower. Zoinks! Cried Shaggy. Like I knew we were being watched. Run! Run! yelled Scooby. The ghost chased Scooby and the gang down the winding stairs. I like these stairs are making me crazy dizzy, cried Shaggy. There must be a place to hide at the bottom, said Fred. But there wasn't anywhere to hide. There was only a long hallway, and the gang ran down the hallway and fell through a trap door. Ruh -ruh, cried Scooby. Like, at least we got rid of those frightening freaks, cried Shaggy. But where are we now? asked Daphne. Jinkies, said Velma. This is where they run the show's smoke machine. Hmm, that gives me an idea. Maybe we can smoke the ghost out once and for all, said Fred. So before the show started the next day, Fred set up the smoke machine. Now, all we need to do is shoot the cannon and scare the ghost into falling into the trap door, said Fred. Shaggy and Scooby, are you ready to light the cannons? Aye, aye, Captain, said Shaggy. Just as they hoped, the pirate ghost tried to stop the show. But this time, the gang wasn't going to let them. Just as the ghost burst onto the stage, Shaggy and Scooby fired the cannon. The stage shook with each blast. The ghosts were so scared they stopped in their tracks. As the cannon fired again, they both backed up and fell through the trap door. Trespassers beware, said Daphne as she closed and locked the door. The audience cheered. That was the best show ever, the best show ever, they cried. Once the audience was gone, the gang unmasked the trapped ghost. It was Maya and Marcus. Huh. We were so close to finding that gold, said Maya. Yeah, and we would have too, if it wasn't for you meddling kids, said Marcus. The next day, the gang got ready to go home. I'm so glad your van broke down here, said Julian. You not only saved my show, but you made it better.
Back home, Scooby and the gang unloaded the mystery machine. It was nice of Julian to let us keep our costumes, said Daphne. These will be great for next Halloween. Scrooby dooby doo! How's it going, Barrett? Scrooby dooby doo! Like he always says it. Like he always says it. So that was Scooby Doo and Shiver Me Timbers by Sonia Sanders here on Mr. Eric. And Mr. Barrett Reed. Hope you guys had a great day. Please come back again tomorrow. We'll have another story for you as we ramp up year number two of Mr. Eric Reads. Take care of yourselves, wash your hands, and as always, practice kindness in everything you do and with everybody you meet. See you guys around.